Hey, welcome back to the third installment of the Subaru build for I step on everything. For the um, Gambler 500,000. <laughs> We're still in the process of tearing this car up. <laughs> so so far and we're selling Subaru parts, by the way. <laughs> a bunch of extra stuff. Have a yard sale like a gambler. <laughs> <laughs> so I've took the front bumper off, the rear bumper. Right, the I've cleaned bumper. it. Uh, we're, we're building the PVC pipe snorkel tonight. He bought all the stuff for it. Shout out, Austin. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan has just been staring at the car for like two days. Hey, he put the radio in. Oh, yeah. It took, like, him, took him two days to put a radio 17 in. 17 hours. <laughs> <laughs> was it pay like five dollars? <laughs> All right, so we have a solution, Dylan. Can you pull your phone up with those tires? We have a solution with tires. Basically, uh, what is it? Twenty nines mud yeah. trains. Yeah, pretty much. Twenty nine mud trains. He's gonna pull out the. Link yeah, the yeah. I'll just post it in the video. I'll just pop it up on the screen right here by my my hand. I think I can do that. Yeet! Right here, might be here. I don't know. Somewhere in this general area, I popped it up right there. Anyway, those are the tires that we're gonna be getting. What do you think will be here, Dylan? Wednesday. Wednesday? Yeah. Everybody else is Thursday. Those will be Somebody Wednesday. just sent a message. We may be taking a break tomorrow. We've been filming every single night working on this, and we may take a break tomorrow and Friday night. And then Saturday is the gambler. But we will have this done for sure. So Wednesday night, Thursday night, we finish. I don't know about for sure. Oh, yeah, we'll be done. The show. Hey, I need air. I need air. Why don't you just take a deep breath? I got that, that on video. <laughs> you can never be in NASCAR because you're so slow. Shut up. You only give me a 25% battery. I didn't get the back glass because Dylan had it up because he was taking a poop right here in a bucket. <laughs> but we do have our PVC pipe. This is what we're going to make our... I wonder if it's light. Yeah, it's lights on. This is what we're going to make our snorkel out of. Shout out Austin Swan for buying it. Boom. <laughs> see, dude, you can't even see the glass. <laughs> <laughs> so we clean it we put some fly stickers on it we're uh, making stickers tomorrow night for Break this thing circle. so there's my sticker and it's going to be all over the car we put these stickers on dylan had them extra this came with the car it's pretty dope we got the tag applied for <laughs> the window <laughs> now on to cutting the muffler off you probably dark you can't see me now we're cutting the muffler off. Or Dylan is going to. So we'll have rad racing sounds while we're doing the rally. I don't know where you're going with that. Oh man. So we got Austin. <laughs> I'm just running around filming everything. We got Austin cutting the heat shield off the catalytic converter. Cutting? What do you call us? Cadillac converter. Cadillac. Or unbolting the the cold shield from the Cadillac converter. And then we got Dylan just still running and staring at the car. <laughs> he just cut this piece of aluminum off for like no reason. Could have used it, but whatever. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm filming. Uh, hardest job. <laughs> I'm editing till one o'clock in the morning and then going to work. 
What's that you do for a living? <laughs> you had to go right around the AC all day. <laughs> I know. So hard. I'm gonna drop this jack on you. <laughs> I don't know if he's picking it up. Hey, you wanna know why? <laughs> oh, he's gonna pick it up hard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why this was rattling so bad. Why? Because they were all like hands up. Hey, can you hand me that 10 millimeter wrench? It's one of the wrenches in that bag oh, full yeah. of useless stuff. Um, I've got like five cutters in here. I know. Solid boys. Said it was a 10 millimeter. Let's see, I got a. It's meant. 17. Uh, How do you pick up a 17 when you're looking for a 10? No, nope, then you probably wouldn't be surprised if I picked up a 19. <laughs> Here's your 12. We're getting closer. And that's a screwdriver. Nope. That's a tire driver thingy. The valve stem. <laughs> tire driver. There's a screwdriver. Flashlight. Is that what you want? No, I don't want your flashlight. Like that. No. Dylan, stop. <laughs> uh, you're going to get demonetized. Yeah. You got a 5 8. Who uses standard shit anymore? It's Shut all up. metric. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Ow! Oh, <laughs> that was, yeah, 11. That was pretty close. One size smaller. That's what she said. Oh, 14. Jesus Christ. It's little. Well, I picked up a little one, but it's an 8. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 13. Wake me up in a minute. <laughs> I can't find it. You got five flashlights in this fucker. <laughs> and that's what? You got this. You're not allowed to say that. <laughs> and a magnet tray with everything connected to the side of it. It's not in it. <laughs> what is this variety pack you got going on here? Hey, Dylan, do you have a 10 millimeter wrench? Hey, seven. <laughs> what was you need again? A 10. <laughs> This is about as close as I can get. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> you almost. Thank God. Can't be in my face. Oh no. I was tired of going through the foundry's bag for tools. Hey. <laughs> They're at home in a toolbox. Oh yeah. You just ride around the AC all day. <laughs> so. Be scared. It's almost Halloween. <laughs> This is what we're doing now. He's cutting that out so we can run the snorkel, which is going to sit up here. And then the snorkel is going to go up the pillar here. So we got this. We're going to cut the fender so the snorkel will come through the fender because the fender won't close on this or go against the body. And then we're going to use some like either some flex hose to go here to here to complete the snorkel but this is as far as we've gotten we've cut the muffler off dylan did that for clearance issues <laughs> obviously, obviously. <laughs> yeah let me give you a quick update. Ran. That's 
So what we're doing is we're going to build like a makeshift bumper, metal bumper that Dylan's got here. We're going to cut this little end off. And this is kind of what it's going to look like. Skip plate. Yeah. It's gonna skip. skip plate's going to go under, which is that big aluminum piece right here. It's going to look decent, bro. <laughs> Be here Wednesday. Lift of kit <laughs> will be here Wednesday. What else? We're gonna finish the spacers. We gotta do the wiring Wednesday. for the lots. Wiring for the lots. We gotta build a roof rack. Roof rack. We gotta wire in those speakers. So Wednesday and Thursday it's gonna be crunch time. Yeah, we're gonna finish the snorkel. And then so this is the ending of today. So we've been here every night. So we're gonna take tomorrow off, are we? Probably. All right, we're taking Tuesday. tomorrow off, which is Tuesday, just to take a breather, and then Thursday, or Wednesday and Thursday, we'll come back and finish it. And it should be done by Thursday, and then Friday, we're going to take a break, and then Saturday, we're all going to meet up here in the morning, and then we're going to go to Stony. So this is the third video of this series, and there will be two more videos before the main video, so stay tuned for that. We're not going to there, bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you put that up there, I'm taking the fender back on. Yeah. <laughs> Built for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of it. Bam. You need to shorten that up, man. Put it on the side and put it in there. I'm going to go into that. Just like cut it here a little bit shorter. You gonna do it? You <laughs> just hopped it up. We already got a lot of stuff to do still. <laughs> we just might have to trim. We might still have to do a little work on the shocks. On so the back, the tires shrugged a little. Still got to I think a big spacers. hammer we can hold it a little bit. Okay. That's gonna be all for today. Thanks again, Jonathan, for sponsoring this video. What else? Anything else? Bye. About to take my pet squirrel, my grandmama. Dylan's pet squirrel and his grandmama. Moo moo. Moo moo. The angry neighbor. The angry neighbor that's probably getting tired of us. Because <laughs> we're very loud. <laughs> anyway, uh, like I said, thanks again to our sponsors. Here's a video from our sponsors. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace! Bam. That's it. That was it? That's it. I'm putting that in the video. <laughs> Just wanted to give a uh, quick shout out to our sponsor today. It's Coolman Auto Rebuilders. As you can tell, his logo, you could see it everywhere in my videos. Especially at Dylan's house because Dylan's one of his mechanics. The This sponsor specializes in selling late model vehicles. Uh, cars and trucks and they've been professionally repaired you know saving you money without sacrificing quality all of their clean lake model repairable vehicles are hand-picked and purchased from insurance salvage auctions sources in the southeast some vehicles are even purchased by automotive dealers shops and direct individuals this is their Facebook page right here I can sit here and tell you all day long of how good of a job this dude is but you can see it in the reviews like 
you just go to the reviews here and it'll just it, you use a five out of five rating and it's just endless reviews of how nice and organized and how great the cars were it's just it's insane of the the great feedback that jonathan the owner of this company gets with this sort of company really good really good dude and i'm so happy to be able to shout him out in my videos it's, it's especially as the youtube channel is as small as it is and he went out on a limb and sponsored this this video series that we're doing with the gambler and i really do appreciate it and i know dylan appreciates it too he also has an active website and an active Instagram if you would like to get on there and check those out. You can get on the website and it shows inventory. Uh, you can contact the dealer, uh, just all kinds of stuff. The website is built very, very well. It's very user friendly. Purchasing a vehicle is even easier. He has loads of vehicles in stock ready to go and has plenty more that are coming into the inventory like i said i really do appreciate you sponsoring this video series that we're doing with the gambler i hope we do frequently get you as a sponsor even more so i really do appreciate it john if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you want to check out his social medias and the website or if you're interested in purchasing a car and want to figure out how to get in touch with him just check out the links below i'll link the company's website and Facebook page and Instagram stuff so you can actually get in touch with him. He's very active and will frequently answer your questions that you might have.